Okay, this is a quick video showing my new and improved payload drop mechanism. It's actuated by an extra servo channel. Some of you might remember my Black Ops Barbie video from a few months ago. This was my first payload drop mechanism and it worked flawlessly every time. Unfortunately, this was Barbie's only jump. She ended up in a tree where she still hangs today. Now the first prototype was simple using only a number 64 rubber band and a few custom hooks along with a cheap $3 uh, servo to actuate it. It worked well enough, was easy to remove, but it had drawbacks. It was big and bulky, added unnecessary weight and drag, and worst of all, I had minimal ground clearance while taking off with any payload. It was nice to have a removable payload dropper in case things didn't work out like they should, that way I could just remove it and discard it, but it worked perfectly, so wasn't there a way to simplify it? Here's the new permanent design. It's simple, it's sleek, it's lighter, and better. First I cannibalized the old payload drop mechanism. My carbon fiber and nirod tubing guide was already perfectly aligned, so I was careful to keep this part intact when I removed it. Next I cut out two recesses in the side of my fuselage, one for the slider and one for the servo. I just kept cutting until I had everything lined up perfectly. You need to make sure the payload hanging area is directly underneath the center of gravity. Now slide the servo wire in and connect it. I connected mine with an extension so it would be easy to disconnect the servo when I'm not using it. I hot glued the servo and taped over it with black Gorilla Tape for better aerodynamic efficiency. Then I Gorilla glued the slider mechanism and taped it to hold it in place while it dried. Then I glued in a small reinforcement dowel on the exact opposite side with Gorilla Glue to hold the other side of the rubber band. When it was all dried it looked good except I still had the problem of the cargo hanging too low. I want to take off of grass and gravel, so I needed to make a recess. So I marked out a nice oval shape, cut it out at an angle with a, an X-Acto knife, and bingo! I now have the closest thing I can get to a bomb bay on my Skywalker. Now I covered the hole from the inside with 1 8 inch light ply glued with Gorilla Glue, then added Velcro and reinstalled my radio gear. Now when not in use, the drop mechanism adds only minimal weight and drag. When I want to drop something, I remove the rubber band and foam. I like to drop these Dollar Tree foam balls. They are soft and weigh less than an ounce. Just drop it in, stretch the rubber band over it, and reattach on the other side. Now I have a lot more clearance under the plane for when I am taking off from rough runways. It works just as good as the first prototype and it's lots of fun. When not in use, simply reinstall the missing foam, attach the rubber band, and unplug the servo if you don't want to accidentally drop this piece in flight. Have fun, fly safe, and never drop anything from your plane that you wouldn't want hitting your own head. A good rule of thumb is drop things that are an ounce or less and soft and big. Uh, if you drop anything heavier like an army man or anything like that or a barbie like I did, use a parachute. Securely attach the device with a parachute 